When I walk down the street, the people stop and stare. I got rings on my fingers and a comb in my hair. You peel me an orange, don't you give me no rhyme? Cause I got more lands than Venetian blinds, Venetian blinds, y'all. something and then everybody's on it, you know? because it's time now for a WORD flashback. Let's go back to the year 1997 when the music world was jamming to the beat of this next video. It's from his triple platinum album, Theory of Celebrity. Now his back to basic style took the hip hop world by storm. Made you get up just to get down. You all know who I'm talking about, right? It's my man, MC Squared with his hip hop classic on the scientific tip. Word. Y'all, and she's square up in this. I go, man, you know that 
track really stands up over time. Yeah, but people didn't understand it. They thought it was about me being on the scientific team. What the fuck they supposed to think? The song's called On the Scientific Team. Yeah, but it's a metaphor. It's all about me paying my respects to the hip-hop greats who came before me. It was a time for God. Just listen right here. <laughs> you dating yourself there, bro. Hooli hooligan? <laughs> That's old school. I'm talking red brick schoolhouse shit. Don't knock him, bro. I love Hooli hooligan. I ain't knocking him, nigga. Who you call him, nigga, nigga? <laughs> Hooli hooligan. That doesn't bother you. What? Him saying nigga? Should I be upset? It's with an A. Exactly. He's my man. I know he's not a racist. If he was, I wouldn't produce it. It's all part of the whole thing. What thing? <laughs> Shit, Don. Come on. I'm supposed to be the only one who's square here, remember? <laughs> square, MC. MC square. MC square. MC square. Never mind. Shit, the whole thing. Nigga, it's a hip hop thing. He knows I'm down. It, it, it's just that you don't usually hear white people say it. I mean, it's one thing for two black people to go, hey, well, you know, I, what I'm trying to say, it's it's a black thing, it's cool. I mean, I'm hip, I'm grooving, you know, I'm up, but. That's why it's, it's my manager, he's always thinking. Uh, can I get anyone anything? Water, cabin? No, I'm cool. Well, I'm gonna get some. How about some water? Not again. How about some club soda? Y'all won't believe what I got to say. What's the problem? It's a fucking sink. <laughs> the went <wind> word. <laughs> it's not funny, man. It's an expensive sink. I know, but why does the sink break all the time? I mean, if it's such a great sink. I mean, shouldn't it be a little more durable? Sometimes I don't think you know nothing about that. Listen, the man asked a legitimate question. Now, why does the sink break down all the time? Why do you want to know? Because I grew up in the projects. Eight brothers and sisters. Are you saying I'm not down? Are you saying I'm not legit? No, listen to me. What I'm saying is, in all those years in the projects, a lot of shit broke. But one thing, you could pretty much rely on non-stop was the sink. What are you trying to say? I'm saying your fancy ass sink is a piece of shit. You son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 What's whoa, whoa, whoa. up? Guys, 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 we're talking sinks. I'm sorry, man. It's these American pipes. They're whack. They're not meant to handle a sink as as, as uh, delicate as a fucking uh, Wentworth. Do you, do you have the number of the Wentworth people? Could you call them? The number's downstairs in the giant glass one. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm sorry, man. It's just a lot of pressure on me right now, you know? I, I don't want to be known as just that scientific tip guy, you know? I mean, look at me. I've evolved, yo. I know. You don't have to tell me that. Come on. The record sounds great, all right? Don't worry. I know. Thanks. You're the best producer I've ever worked with. You're a genius. Bet you said that to all the producers. Just the black ones, G. Just the black ones. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As a rapper, I pride myself on my vocabulary. It's my tool, yo. Even more so than the mic. Because you don't really need a mic to rap. You could if you had to, just shout it out real loud. But you need a vocabulary. So your words are your strength? Exactly. They're my tool, yo. 
If someone came up to me today and said, yo, Squared, from now on when you rap, you can't use a mic, I'd be like, that's fine with me, G, as long as I get my message out. And what exactly is that message? <sighs> that I don't need a mic. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, most people know you strictly from your biggest hit on The Scientific Tip, but that was three years ago. So, how do you think you've grown in that time? Shit, that's easy. Oh, can I say shit? Mm, no, not really, but we'll bleep it out. Sorry. Oh, can I get any of y'all something to drink? Club soda, caviar? No, I'm fine, thanks. How about you, Mr. Cameraman? You need anything, huh? No, thanks. Because I try to keep everything stocked, you know, just in case. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, let me rephrase the question. Have you changed a lot in the three years since on the scientific tip? Oh, most definitely. You know how? It's what I choose to rap about. In the past, it was always usual boasting, I'm so great, blah, blah, blah. But now... Oh, and now you think you've matured? Yeah, I've matured. Um, on this new record, I'm rapping about stuff that concerns people at large. You know what I'm saying? Like the ozone layer. There's a rap about the ozone layer? There sure is. Not specifically about the ozone layer per se, but things of that ilk. I'll give you a better example. On this new record, I wanted to discuss things that are important to me and my audience. And my job is to get those things out to the general public through rap. Oh, I get it. So you see yourself as sort of a messenger. That's right, a messenger. Spreading the news of uh, positivity. Positivity? Positively. Oh, that's interesting because um, I actually heard a track from your new album. Which one? I got an advanced copy of one song. It's called Ho oh No. You know what? Let me read you some of the lyrics and uh, maybe you can tell me what's so positive about it. Shoot. Sure. I will. Some hoe comes up to me backstage after the show. She starts mouthing off, so I tell her to go. She says, you ain't no copper, I don't see no badge. So I hit her with a catering tray, smack in the badge. Now, I don't want to editorialize here, but I have a really hard time reconciling those lyrics with anything that remotely resembles positivity. Hmm. I was being ironical. Excuse me? Ironical and shit. That, see, that song, that's not really me in that song. Mm -hmm. That's like an evil rapper. It's a, it's a comment on the um, misogynist overtones that, you know, are uh, prevalent in today's hip-hop community, as well as in greater uh, society. Really? Yeah. Then how do you explain this next verse? Then I'll say it real loud for the hearing impaired. You bitches take notice. I'm MC squared. I'll say it real clear. You won't hear me stammer. Any bitches playing games, I'll smack them in the vag with my ball peen hammer. Can I get any of y'all something to drink? Club soda, caviar. <laughs> huh? I'll have some water. Great. Don, could you help me get my man here some water? That's a good idea. Most definitely. What the fuck is going on? I'll just keep going. Fuck, fuck, fuck. She's out of blood. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just, just, just don't say anything that you're gonna regret. You know what the problem is? She don't like white rappers, it's a racial thing. Look, I, you know, that may be the case, so don't give her any reason to dislike you. It's that, it's that fucking song. I mean, she obviously doesn't like the lyrics. Is it my fault she's not ironical? I don't know, I don't know. All I know is, all I know is, is that she has a lot of power, and it's very important that she likes you. I mean, do you remember what she did to Ice Capade? 
Oh shit. No, no, I'm fucked. No, no, I'm no, fucked. no, 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 no. Just no, play it cool, play it cool. Listen to me. I'm gonna go back out there. You take a moment, okay. you compose yourself. Okay. You get the man his water. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. You have a good time. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. right? Yeah. And things are going well, don't you? Club soda's okay, there's a problem with the plumbing. Club soda's fine. Thanks. Okay, let's get right back to it, shall we? Uh, moving away from your new album, maybe you can tell me about some of your influences. I would love to. <laughs> I've got so many, you know. Um, I've always considered myself as a student of hip hop. In what way? In that I'm always learning learning and taking those influences and putting them to new use in my work. Um, do you remember Mixmaster Nog? Well, of course. Well, Mixmaster Nog is a huge influence on me. Oh, wow, I love Mixmaster Nog. <laughs> it's so nice to hear one of today's artists cite him as an influence. Well, yeah, I love Mixmaster Nog, too. My favorite record is was Washington and Drying. Exactly! That was the first track to tackle the issue of domesticity in hip-hop. Well, a detergent. That shit just ain't fair. Wait a second, baby, why you put the forks in there? I put, put the, the forks, forks in, in there, there cause, cause that's, that's where, where they go. go. Now, now get, get me a mop, mop and let's clean the flow. flow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's great. It's so rare that anyone even remembers that track. That's why I consider myself a student. Now, I, I understand you've gotten Jarvis Alley to produce your new album. What's it like working with him? I consider it a real treat that I got to work with Jarvis. He's the best. Wow. I hear he's a real perfectionist, so was there a little friction between you two? Not really. I mean, when you work so closely with someone, you're bound to run into some problems occasionally. Like, today, we sort of got into it a little bit, but that type of thing happens. I mean, even when we fight, he's still my nigga. Excuse me? Jarvis, uh, he's my nigga. We're down. Oh, Jesus. Did you just call Jarvis Alley a nigger? Nigga. Nig. Ah. With an A. This is different. Oh, yeah? And what is that? Well, I would never call anybody a nig, you know, with an E-R. That shit's whack. But with my man Jarvis, I mean, it's like, you know... Come on, I'm supposed to be the only one who's square here. Huh? <laughs> I think we're through with this interview. We were just getting warmed up. Oh, no. I've got all I need. Hey, what was that one by Mixmaster Nog? You know the one, uh, um... Come on, it was no, with an A. Hey, Dom, thanks for setting this up. I'm sorry it turned out this way. Oh, it's just a misunderstanding. That's no, man, it's like that blooper shit. Hip-hop's crazy as practical jokes. She's just kidding, man. Got me, damn. <laughs> Yes, I did get you, only it's no joke. Unless you think racist white rappers are funny. Damn, you're good. <laughs> hey, Don, thanks a lot. Uh, 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 but wait, it was just a big miss. It was with an A, N-I-G-G-A. Rappers say it all the time. Really? Well, I don't usually hear white people say it unless they're wearing a white sheet over their head. Is that going to be uh, your uh, next uh, look? Uh, 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 why don't we just settle down? <sighs> hey, do you think I can get some more club soda? Sorry. Look, I wish you hadn't said it, I really do. But you did. Now, I'm not out to destroy you, but I have to do my job. Oh, oh well, come on, you're not gonna air the tape off. Oh, just, just be reasonable, what, what if he apologized? An apology? Yeah. Are you sorry? Of course he is, come on, don't be silly. I'm not sorry. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sorry. You know why? Because I'm not a racist. I love black people. When Marion Barry got arrested for smoking crack, you know what I said? I said, yo, that's bullshit. The bitch set him up. Why don't we just all sit down? Come on. Does anybody want any club soda? This ain't no time for no club soda, yo. I'm making a point. 
You want me to apologize for being a racist? I can't do that. I can't apologize for being something that I'm not. MC Squared is not about that. A MC Squared is about being, being true to yourself and, 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 and what you believe in and, 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 and following your dreams. MC Squared is about that too, because without dreams and without the, the, the children, there'll be no tomorrows. I mean, who's kidding who here? You see, you see, how could anybody who says such beautiful things be considered a racist? I, uh, come on, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's just, it's crazy. You're all crazy. It's with an A. An A. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you live here? Ah, I'm from the Wentworth Company. It, it seems there's a problem with the sink in the area. Yeah, it's me. Oh, quite a nice flat you've got here, sir. Your Wentworth must look lovely. Yeah, except it uh, doesn't work. Well, they can be tricky. Uh, why don't we see what the problem is? That's in the kitchen. Over here. Is it all right to put me tools up in, sir? Yeah. Thanks for asking. It's very uh, considerate. <laughs> it's just simple manners, really. My mum told me well. But enough of that. What exactly is the problem with your wedding with? Sometimes it works great. It flows like no other sink I've ever seen. But then other times it. Is that a question of water pressure, sir? No. There's no water at all. I pump the faucet and it's just dry. Well, that shouldn't be happening to Wentworth, sir. Exactly, because, you know, it's like such a rare sink, it'd be a shame if it didn't work. Rare, sir? Yeah, there's only uh, three like it in the country. That's what the man told me when I bought it. Only three? Yeah, me, Tom Selleck, and this gynecologist in Miami Beach. <coughs> sir, I'm afraid you've been misled. The Wentworth is quite popular, especially with young couples. I'm sorry, but you thought... I can't trust nobody, man. You can trust me, sir. Thanks. You know, you look familiar. All right, sir. I've got just the thing for you. all that shit. Sir, have you at any time in the past shoved glass down that drain orifice? <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. It's all my homies drinking their 40s. <laughs> I keep telling them, yo, there's no garbage disposal down there. Use the recycling bin. Shit like this is giving me an ulcer, man. I know it's not my place, sir, but <laughs> if your friends are the type to destroy your Wentworth with broken glass, Perhaps it's time to get new friends. I understand what you're saying. See, I'm an artist, and you get used to having lots of people around you, like party and shit. I can see you've had a great deal of success, judging by your home and your Wentworth. What may I ask do you do? I'm a hip-hop artist. Hip-hop, sir? Yeah, it's a type of music with rapping. I had a hit a few years back, and a new record's coming out in a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm quite familiar with hip-hop, sir. Quite familiar indeed. So, uh, what's the name that you go by then? MC Squared. Like Einstein and shit. You're MC Squared? Oh, my lord, I, I don't never know. I thought your album was smashing. What? <laughs> you heard Theory of Selectivity? I did indeed, sir. I was on it. What do you mean? Um, I mean, it was, uh, it was an honor to hear it. I believe I'm actually here fixing your Wentworth. I thought you looked familiar. You're a fan. Maybe I saw you at a show. I've never had the pleasure of attending one, sir, but perhaps in the future. You want some champagne? Come on, let's have a drink to celebrate. As much as I'd love to, sir, I'm afraid I can't. Alcohol tends to cloud the mind of even the best Wentworth repair specialist. You know, um... Wendell. Wendell. 
As a paying customer, I insist you have a drink with me. All right, sir, if you're gonna put it that way. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'll be right back. Is it really your smoking name? Give me your stash if we're running rice off the alternate dash. I come on now. I come along then. I said I met a little girl in Camden Town, but she had this other boyfriend who always put the dance. I picked up the cricket bat. Excuse me. Ow! Good God, sir. You scared the dickens out of me. I heard you rapping. So, on behalf of the Wentworth Corporation, I'd like to apologize. Take off your glasses. <sighs> Me specs, but I, uh, I can't see the without them. It's not for you to see, it's for me. Some bad, I knew it had to be you. I was holy hooligan once. But those days. You gotta record something. If I can get us some time in the studio, I'm gonna call Jarvis. He'll fucking flip when he finds out. Holy hooligan is dead. My name is Wendell, Wendell Lockport. I work for the Wentworth Corporation as a drain repair specialist. I am no longer part, nor do I wish to rejoin the hip hop community. <sighs> am I making myself clear? Let's get back to it then. <sighs> Hand me the spanner. You got it. Never mind! I'll get it myself! I thought you wanted a spanner! Yes! I thought it was some kind of old school lingo. It's in all your records. A spanner? It's a wrench. Oh, I thought it was some kind of... Perhaps I'm piece. not making my position clear, sir. Hmm. I appreciate the fact that my work has been an influence on yours, but it's over. I'm out for business. All right, Wendell. If that's the way you want it, that's the way you'll have it. I hope you're happy. I will be as long as I can get on with my life! So this is your life now? I can't believe you get the same fulfillment out of fixing sinks. A sink? A sink? It's not a sink, it's a wind whip! And I'd expect you to know the difference! Look, I don't know why you got out. It can be a fuck business. For all I know, you got screwed ten times over by the record company. Those suits broke my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. But it doesn't have to be that way. You're a pioneer. Your suffering made success for people like me possible. If you'd work with me, it'd be different. You wouldn't have to even meet any of those other people. It would just be me and you on the mic. The return of Hooli Hooligan. Give it a shot. What? Where did it? 
Look, my spider. <laughs> you were great. Once. <laughs> Come on, Tallulah, you know he didn't mean it. I don't care. He said it, and unless he apologizes... Look, I spoke to Jarvis. He's backing him up. He's willing to go on the record and defend MC Square. I can't control what Jarvis does, Don. I can only control what I do. Suppose he made a uh, substantial contribution to your favorite charity, just, just, just as a gesture of good faith. Are you bribing me, Don? No. Just think of it as a gesture of good faith. I don't accept bribes, Don. But I tell you what, I will accept an apology. I am so sorry. Not from sorry. you, from him. If I get a call, I'll only air the nice part of the interview. But if I don't hear from him, you're going to have a PR problem on your hands, my friend. Because I'll let you in on a little secret, Don. The market for white rappers who call their black producer a nigger, even if what, it is spelled what, wait, with an A, wait. is a pretty small market. Wait! Some coppers are short, some coppers are tall. When I see a copper, I kick him in the ball. Some coppers are pale, some coppers are tanner. If I never get tired, bashing coppers with me spanner. Some coppers use clubs, some coppers use guns. When a copper gives me shit, I bash him just for fun. There's coppers in London, there's coppers in Leeds. But my favorite copper is a copper that bleeds. Dead copper! <laughs> well, I got me down chick this morning, so I walked down the boozer, right? And if Scotland York come knocking, tell them they can kiss more bloody ass. Bunch of bloody fascist puffers anyway. Damn copper! Damn copper. There's coppers in Glasgow, there's coppers in Spain. But the best kind of copper is a copper in pain. Like this time back in Dublin, or was it Belfast? I said good morning, copper, then I kicked them in the ass. Still so sounds great, busted. yo. They threw me in the jail. The judge saw it's me in the jail. Said Billy Pan's bail. So then I'm in the prison. I know. Sentence five to ten. You think I still got it, then? I don't know when to. It's been a lot of years fixing wet words. <laughs> I know. But <laughs> it's hell a sink, man. Especially when the shit works. Yeah, well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. I cleared up your obstruction. Great. What do I owe you? I'll smash him with oh, his I'll bash him with his free. I've done it in Geneva. I'll do it in Sudan. The only time I'm not beaten up the damn I think my last job should be on the house anyway. But now I've got a go. Cop a fashion time again. Life is never boring when you're hooli hooligan. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Who took me matches? Let's Why get to work. <laughs> They look a little baggy, mate. That's the style. It looks like a fucking denim kill. Just try them on, man. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. People wear this? Relax, you look <gasps> hip. Hip! Hip! I look like an, an arsehole. You look like a gangster. Bollocks to that, man! Look, they keep falling down. How can you wrap your pants down below your ass? It's distracting. I need me rapping, niggas. Like in the old days. Something I can move around in. That's the style. Nobody wears those knickers anymore. 
Now, are you going to complain all day, or are you going to start your comeback, huh? Bloody hell! <sighs> Try those. They're a size 8. Yeah, well, I'd take a 10. We'll get you some new sneaks, man. It's just so I can get a mental picture. Beer, mate. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you one. Got any blow, then? You're into that? Yeah, well, why not? Being that I'm starting me rap comeback and all. I don't do that shit, man. It'll fuck you up. me crying about it, do ya? I can feel the blisters forming as we speak. I, I don't have any, man. I, I told you, I, I don't do that shit. Well, how about some birds then, man? Get some birds over here. What are you talking about? Birds, man. Birds. Women. You gotta be about the most boring rapper I've ever met. Chill, man. I've got a woman. Yeah? Where is she, then? I'd like to meet her. Rochester County Women's Correctional Facility. That's got to be Jarvis and B-Box. I told him I had a surprise for him. Come on. What, what kind of surprise? Uh, you. Oh, right. What's up? What's up? know what this is? I see it, but I don't believe it. Hooli hooligan. Heard a lot about you. So, what you been doing? I've been fixing bleeding sinks. But Square there, he's restarting his career. Not just any sinks, Hooli. That's right, Wentworth. Fucking best sink you can buy. I love him. People. Would you like some? No, it's 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 B Box. He's a key component of the MC Squared Sound. Oh, that's lovely. Anyway, now that we're all acquainted, why don't we start an army combat? I gotta talk to my man Jarvis first. But there's more beer in the kitchen if you want any, huh? Smashing. Okay. Come on, beer socks. Just for a second, man. How the fuck did you find him? I swear to God, man, he was the sink repairman. Get the fuck out of here. No shit. Listen, did you hear what happened? The interview? Yeah. You gotta watch what you say on tape, man. Look, it's cool around me, but shit, you can't say that around me. You wants me to apologize. And you're gonna have to. But I'm not a racist, you know that. Yeah, but you gotta look at the big picture. If you don't say something, she's gonna air the tape. But you'll back me up, right, so. I'll back you up to a degree. But it's not gonna come down to that because you are going to apologize. Spare me all of the misquoted shit, I. Right? It don't feel right, man. You see this deadlocks? It's a spanner. That comes in quite handy when you got sink to fix, man. Of course, it's always useful to have a spanner on hand, even when there's nary a sink in sight. Not I mean. How long are you gonna keep this guy around? As long as he wants, man, we're gonna write some songs. You sure that's a good idea? <laughs> what are you getting at? I thought you'd be excited to see Hooli Hooligan in my house. Do you know about this guy? How's that, eh? Hey? Eh? Hey? He's a great rapper who had some bad luck. <coughs> he told me the record company broke his heart. <coughs> that's why he's been fixing sinks all these years. That, that's what he told you? Yeah, what? <laughs> 
Hooli Hooligan had a reputation for being the most obnoxious man in hip hop, just a total, total psycho. No, no, you don't know him, man. I was talking to him when he was fixing my Wentworth. He's a good guy, he's just had some bad breaks. I can help him, so I want to. He was a drunk. So the guy likes to kick back a drink or two. He was violent too, look, he had a rep for beating people up, especially people he worked with. So he fought, big deal. That's just part of his image. You should have seen him fixing my sink, calling me, sir. You don't know him, man. He couldn't hurt a fly. And you're the robber, you wanna hit me with the spanner, then rob me. So you can use the loot to support your crippling crack habit. What's with the peace and love, man? This information could save your life. What if someone were to come at you with a spanner, eh? What then? I'm not telling you any new information here, man. The guy's just bad news. I heard all kinds of stories. He once took a wrench to an engineer because he ate some of Hooli's apple pie. He smashed the poor guy up. No way, that I just don't believe. Yo, Hooligan, do you remember an engineer goes by the name of Steve Luckett? That was my point, man! I told him to get his own! The bloody way it took me to call! See? We'll just have to keep clearing a man's pie, won't we? I don't trust him. I just heard too much shit, I. What is he doing to beatbox? Oh, shit! Ray Logan. Yo, be careful about that drip, yo. <laughs> what drip? From the ice bag. Try not to get it all over the interior. But the ice is sealed in this airtight bag. There's no way it can escape. That shit ain't airtight. Well, that's where you're mistaken. It is airtight. It's the same type of bag they use in the North Pole. Eskimos, man. I called Don, he'll meet us there. All right. Hey, you guys, you want to hear my new favorite song? You got your wrap some salt. Let me see it, man. <sighs> yeah. Is that the right kind? I usually prefer the smaller granules, but it'll do. Good. Can we get something to eat now? Let's do it. Which way? Yo, careful. <sighs> you get my Jamaican beef patty? Right here. Is that the right kind? Spicy? Yeah. Beautiful. Yo, what is that shit, man? It's the Jamaican beef patty. Well, but you Yanks probably refer to it as the meat pie. I don't think I refer to it as anything. Yes, you do. Square dab, son. No way. I can't, Hooli. I've got a sensitive stomach. <laughs> My pussy hurts! Bloody hell, man! You got no blood, no bird! You won't even have a little bit of Jamaican beef patty. Chill, Hooli. The man said he didn't want any. What are you, a bleeding nutritionist? Come on, man. Have a bite of it. Maybe a little, maybe just a little bit. Squared, don't let him bully you. I'm not bullying him! I'm a bad man to different cultures! Look, we're not from Newcastle. We're bad to live on it. It's bad to protein. I love reggae. Pass that bad boy over here. Don't 
good, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Spicy. That's because the mild ones are strictly for terrorists. Finish your name. I can't, Hooli. This is yours. It wouldn't be right. Oh, come on, Mike. Please, eat it. <sighs> is that it up ahead? Jarvis, what are you gonna happen? Peking duck. Sounds good. How about you, Don? You know, uh, you're gonna have to apologize, Squared. Yeah, Don's right, yeah. You said what you said, and she's got it on tape. I'm not a racist. I, I know. Believe me, that's not the issue. It's just that your record's coming out in a couple of weeks, and we just don't want anything to interfere. But how can you apologize when you haven't done anything wrong? Hooli, Hooli, look, I appreciate your input, but we have Squared's interest at heart here. Do you? Yeah. Because I think if you listen to these guys, you'll look like a bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Who the fuck asked you? I'm listening to all sides, man. Yeah. He's listening to all sides. Look, look, you're making this out to be a bigger deal than what it is. She likes you. She just sees it as a job she has to do. She just wants to ease her mind. That's all this is about. It's all this public relations crap. Where I come from, we let the music do the talking. Well, why don't you just go back there then? <laughs> Please, my stomach. You want a piece of me then? You want to get around with all the hooligan? Because I've been there, man. I've seen the insides of some football rights make your hair stand on end. It's like this time in Manchester. Or was it Arsenal? No. It so I said to those Belgian bastards, you want a riot? Well, you got one. So then I took this one bastard by the collar, right? I was beating around me pops for something to bash him with. But all I had on me was a letter over. Because I was tempting at the time. That's convenient to have one man. Just in case. Otherwise, you get some terrible paper cuts. And they smart, man. The worst was this paper cut I got. What on the world? Yeah, you know, the fleshy part. But anyway, I took the letter opener and I stabbed him right through holy, the nose. Holy, holy, please. People are staring. May I take your order? Hi. Got a spare ribs? Yes. Well, I have an order of those. Okay. I'll have the um, shrimp toast appetizer and the um, shrimp and lobster sauce. Um, what do you recommend? The chicken with onion and the curry sauce is a special. I love that, thanks. Okay. I'll have um, a couple of egg rolls and the uh, Peking duck. Your order sounds a little spicy, yeah? It's got a star next to it. That means extra spice. Can you handle that? Your stomach? Um, I've got a sensitive stomach. You sure I'll be okay with this? It's a spicy, but very good. That's all I needed to hear. I trust you. She likes you, man. Oh, with her, you're a big star. Impress her. She wouldn't go for someone like me. She's too classy. Yeah, don't sell yourself short. You're famous. So, um, what's up with you and Sally? She's in solitary. Again? Man, what are you doing? You don't need a girl in the joint. Talk to this girl. She likes you. Maybe I will. Go for it, man. I support you. And see if she's got any friends. This works out, it'll be good for him. Under a lot of pressure. So the rabbi says to the priest, look again, Father, that ain't no fortune cookie. <laughs> That's funny, MC Square. You are very funny. You think so? Because mm -hmm. as a rapper, you always gotta be so serious, you know? But around you, I can relax. For myself. Crack jokes and shit. <laughs> I 
they your friends? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they are. Without them, I don't know where I'd be. But it's different. Like, I can't always be myself. You know what I, mean? I always gotta be in control. You know, like Mr. Cool. And it's tough to be Mr. Cool all the time, you know? It, it's so hard to be who, who you really are. Especially when you're a rapper. <laughs> like this time in Detroit. <laughs> You know, I've known you for what, like 15, maybe 20 minutes? And you could tell I was thirsty just like that? I will get you some. No, wait, wait. I've got to finish what I was saying. Everything's happening so fast. First Huli, now you. I want to, I want, I want to, I need, I need to, I need to tell you everything about me. All, everything about all my insecurities, all my angst, all of it. You know what? You're right. What is angst? It's nothing. It's all in my head, up here. I'm so glad I found you. Hmm. I seem to be hitting it off. Yeah, I know. She hasn't served any food in a half an hour. These are not bloody good! Use your hands, man. That's barbaric. Of course. That's it. Pardon me, brother. You got pencil shot now, on ya? Uh, I may actually. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I do. I thought I left this at home. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't, mate. It's a beauty. Ah, <sighs> this is gonna revolutionise the chopstick industry, man. Now follow me on this. You go to a Chinese restaurant on a date, say. You're with this girl. And you want to impress her at swan, right? But you can't do that if you keep dropping your bloody food all over your bleeding plate. I mean, fuck it, man. There's got to be a better way, isn't there? And now there is. I call it a chopstick. It's like a normal chopstick, but with one crucial difference. It's sharp. I can see why you're a successful producer, man. Holy I, I like your thinking on this one. But let me ask you one question. Well, ask me anything, man. I thought this one through. If these chopsticks are just chopsticks that you sharpen up, what would a chopstick company need you for? They could just sharpen that shit themselves. I don't think I'll follow you, man. These are sharp sticks. Alina! It's all my hair! Huh? My name is all my hair! Hey, I'm talking to you again. What's he saying? Huh? My name is all my hair. What's he saying? What's he saying? You mean by my hair? You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. What the hell is he saying? You're a fool. Ciao! You don't understand. She's our waitress. She's doing great, yo. She, she, she no serve you. She, she fired. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Got a problem then, man? Got a problem with the lady then? It's okay. I'm taking care of it. Please. Wow. I beg of you, please. 
Just give me another chance, sir. What's the matter, man? Is it your stomach? Now look what you've done. You've upset my friend. And when you upset the friends of Uli Oligan, you incur the wrath of Uli Oligan! All of you, out! Get out or I call the police! I'm going to show you how we handle the likes of you in Southampton. Come on then! I'll shove this bleeding sharp stick right up your fucking arm! Get him out of here! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Stop pulling, please! All right, man! Come on! Cleaning up, you don't need to do that. Please understand. I need a job for my family. Don't cry, baby. Baby, don't cry. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I wanna take care of you. Forever. I want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will. I shouldn't have had that yellow thing. But you make a big pay. I thought you loved reggae. Squared, you know I support you, but I think you may be rushing this a bit. No way. I've never felt better about anything in my life. Sometimes you just gotta do what your heart tells you. Beatbox, you know what I'm saying, right? Man, I love her. And I need you to support me here, I really do. Thank you, man, thank you. Lynn, where's your house? Um, to the left. That's it, over there. Square, you sure about this? I think so. These emotions that I'm feeling, they're all new to me. It's like, all my life I've been seeing things in black and white. Something's been missing. And now that I've found it, it's like I'm seeing everything for the first time. It's like that tree. In the past, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. It would have been just another punk-ass tree to me. But now, now that I've found true love, a tree is more than a tree. It's like one of those big trees. Fuck, what are they called? Uh, Redwoods? No, I'm talking about the real big ones in California and shit. Redwoods. Are you sure? I don't recall that being the name. Uh, to me, that tree looks like a great shimmering pine cone. I see what you mean, man. Uh, let's go meet your parents.
You guys wait here. Her parents, the real old world, they wouldn't understand if her daughter's future husband came in with his whole crew. I. Right? Good luck, my man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Chan. It's an honor to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Lynn, is something wrong? Uh, Mrs. Chan, I'm in love with your daughter. I understand this may come as a shock, but we have something that is, is special. I mean, I feel it. You feel it too, right? We feel it. It's deep. It's real. Is and... the father home? We have something I have to tell the both of you. I'll be right back. He may do not understand that first. He'll come around, baby. When he sees how strong our love is, he'll see. Oh, I'm C square. Call me squared, baby. What's going on here? Why aren't you at work? Lynn's never going to have to work again, sir. What kind of talk is this? Who's that stranger in my house? This is MC Square. I meet him this afternoon. And we're in love. Mr. Chan, Mrs. Chan, I want you to know I'm going to take good care of your daughter. I'm an entertainer, a rapper. I've got money. So you don't have to worry about anything like that, know what I'm saying? I don't understand. We're getting married. <laughs> what have we done wrong? No, you have done nothing wrong. I love both of you. But it's time for me to get married to MC Square. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, except that I love your daughter, and I'm going to take good care of her. What? What? <laughs> My own. Good idea. Can you use your bathroom? Dad. It's over there. <laughs> Mr. Chan. <laughs> Mrs. Chan. Please, excuse me. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this. Really, I do. A great feeling! Back in Manchester. He's on the toilet. 
Where? Squid, you're in there. Dad, didn't fall in now, did ya? I'm fine, only. What are you doing here? <sighs> we were worried about you, mate. You better get out of here soon. This is one fucked up family. But don't worry, I'll join them with talk of me sharp sticks. Sharp sticks, wait, 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 get me to a... About. I wanted to show you the sharp sticks. Thought you might like to get in on the action. Sharp sticks? You were there, man, at the restaurant. I got this idea. If you take a normal pair of chopsticks and you make them real pointy, you've got a whole new set. Please, oh. silence! Go! Go clean! I'm not finished with you. You wanna go? You wanna fucking go? You're not there in that hoodlum! I forbid it! At least you didn't get any on the walls, man. Holy please, that's not helping. Is, is that... Oh, shit. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Five. Four. Three. I'm here with Neptune recording artist MC Squared. What's up? Well, I'm just gonna get right into it here. As we all know, hip-hop is predominantly the music for black Americans. Yeah. But that doesn't preclude white people or any other racial group from doing it. Exactly. It's the music of the street. Yes, that's true. But um, sometimes there's a lingo that's used Look, by... I know where you're going here. For those of you watching at home, we had a little misunderstanding here earlier. Misunderstanding? Yes, we did. You called your producer, Jarvis Alley, a nigger. And if I upset you, let me tell you that it wasn't meant in that way at all. Oh, I know. It's spelt with an A, and it's a hip-hop term. I can see why you'd be offended. But if you want me to apologize for being a racist, I can't do that. I can't apologize for being something that I'm not. Well, I think it's really irresponsible for someone to throw out a word like that without thinking. Look, I see where you're coming from, but Jarvis will be the first one to tell you. I meant no disrespect. Well, it's a sensitive area, that's all. It is. You know, that word gets thrown around so much in hip-hop, and it's so ugly 
and it's so demeaning. Sometimes we get so caught up in, in, in the image, in keeping it real, we forget what we're saying. And I promise you, I won't let that happen again. Well, I don't know why, but I believe you. It's like a love fest in here. Can I get you anything? Yeah, I'm cool. I'll have some water. Great, water. Let me get that for you now. Thank you. Thank you, Tallulah. It was so very kind of you to do this. You know, there's a part of me that didn't want to come back. I thought I'd just air the tape and let whatever happens, happen. But then I thought... Oh, I thought it was a smashing interview. Oh, thanks. Um... You don't know who I am? I'm sorry. Should I? Um, now that, uh, you and... Everything's cool between you and MC Squared. I, I guess introductions are in order. Uh, Tallulah, this what is... What mood are you looking? Hooli Hooligan? Oh, my God! Hooli. This thing's still broken. Yeah? Well, call a repairman. I'm red tired. I thought you fixed it. Well, it broke again, man. These things happen. Hey, you never said you were working with Hooli Hooligan. Do you mind if we get a few minutes of the two of you together? Well, actually, of I don't course. really need to... Five, four, three... Well, it's been said that only a few people ever bought a record by Hooli Hooligan, but everyone that did became a rapper. But his music never reached a widespread audience. And here he is with MC Squared, Hooli Hooligan. What have you been up to all these years? I'm glad you asked me that, and I'll tell you the truth. Hip-hop just wasn't ready for me. I'm a pioneer, a trailblazer. My work was daring, dangerous. Other blugs were afraid to tackle the subjects I rapped about. Who's well, been a big influence on my Let's work? Let's be else. honest here. For the most part, the audience wants to be spoon-fed their entertainment. They don't want to hear the truth. They want a nice song they can dance to. Little ditties. That's not what Hooli Hooligan does. Well, you're working with MC Squared now, so... MC Squared the... is working with Hooli Hooligan. But do I expect a hit record for my efforts? I'm not counting on it. The public are sheep, really. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot of resentment stored up. Hooli Hooligan doesn't resent anyone, love. I just think they're all fucking stupid. Easy, man, easy. I don't need to take it easy. I've been taking it easy for way too fucking long. The hip-hop community owes me. Fucking hell, damn it. Okay. Let's switch gears here, shall we? Holy, since you've been away, there's been a lot of changes in hip-hop. I'll say. For one thing, we didn't have people like yourself yammering away all day. We just got on with it. Do you have a problem with journalists covering rap music? I've got a lot of problems, love. And you journalists are on the bottom of the list. You're like ants to me. Well, seeing that you have such a low opinion of all of us, maybe we should just leave you alone. Fine with me. Who needs you? What's wrong with you? I don't know how they give interviews in England, but in America, we kiss ass. What is it with the hip-hop nowadays? Back in my day, we didn't need any of this. We just focused on making music. I was all big business. Fashion, like these fucking pants. Just give me some knickers and I'll be happy. There's no substitute for a good pair of knickers. What? Knickers? How can you rap without knickers? You bigot! I wonder what all the fuss is about. It's just pants, man. Knickers? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. 
Well, that's about it for me. It's been, well, it's been memorable. Where are you going? DJ Bunsen and the Burners are in the studio, helping them out. You can't leave. Why not? We're just getting started. There's a lot of work to be done. Are you going to be okay? I think so. You got anything else you want to work on? Just give me a call. I'm always available to help out a friend. I will. Thanks. What? Well, that's it! He didn't even fix his sink, man. We're better off of that. All right, finally, let's get started. Beatbox, bring me a pen and uh, a pencil and um, two erasers and uh, a cart in the white out, the yellow kind. Why don't you get it yourself? Are you okay? No, I'm shitty. I mean, it's bad enough I gotta walk around with this fucking silent mystery man act. I can't even order in a restaurant. I have to point at the menu. I mean, what the fuck? What has that got to do with yellow white out? <laughs> Look, when you're through with this, Clown, give me a call. And if not, it's been a pleasure, man. You're going to? I'm gone. And for fuck's sake, put some pants on. Frankly, you gave me the creeps. Just shut up, man. Just stop. All well, right? What's gotten into you? You don't need those people. All these handlers and journalists, they just fuck everything up for the artists. The music is all that matters. Those people are my friends. Oh, no they're right to wankers. Jump. They want to know a good hip-hop lyric that crept up and bit them in the ass. You're being a real I asshole that's right that's what now. our first song should be about. All those people who get in the way and all. Only it should take place on a farm. <sighs> An apple farm. We'll call it Bad Apples. Or just like Bad Apples. Maybe they can be like a Nobo. Two oboes! This track is screaming out for two oboes! The lyrics, the lyrics will be like, remember it takes place on a farm, so it'll go. This song here takes place on a farm. It's about bad apples that are doing fully harm. Macintosh, grannies, red delicious. All these bad apples are really quite vicious. I don't want to sound rude or like I've got bad manners because I'd like to smash them all with me trusty red spanner. And then you start in maybe talking about silos, you know, because it takes place on a farm. It's all bullshit. All right, you don't like the farm? How about a factory like in the Industrial Revolution? No! This whole thing! It's just not working, man. It was a mistake. Surely. It's Wendell. You're right. This has been a terrible mistake. 
It's okay, Wendell. No, it's not. I've been a bloody ass. Can you forgive me? Of course. Maybe I was too harsh. No. You're great. And so are all your friends. So what are you gonna do, uh... What are you gonna do now? I'm going back to fixing Wentworths. This is one hell of a sink, man. Give him hell, man. Do it for all. Hooli hooli. Look, calm down, Squirtle. The album's yeah. going to be delayed. It's just the holidays. Are wait, the main wait, slow reason. down. It's just the holidays. It's, you know, I'm in control 90%. It's at 10%. What is... It's, it's what, square, what does this square, shit square, mean, square, Don? Down. Look, look, this type of thing just happens all the time. It what does it mean? Uh, what it means, Squirt, it, it's just a delay for a couple of months, six months, uh, eight months tops. Eight months? Yeah, well, uh, Are you fucking kidding I, me? Yeah, well... What's the holdup? Uh, it's... Um, it's really nothing. It's just... What the a, fuck am I supposed to do for eight months, look, man? Uh, well, look, look, hey, hey, don't worry. It's taken care of. I got you some TV work. TV? Yeah, TV. No shit. Yeah, hey. I'm going to take care of you, right? Hmm. Uh, what, uh, I can act, man. I know you can act. Well, well, why do you think I got the TV? You know, I'd make a good cop, like uh, one of those uh, undercover great shows. Great cop. Look, no, no, this is, well, this is just a little different. It's kind of a career retrospective sort of thing. Oh, I, cool, like a Legends of Hip Hop special. Oh, uh, well... Cool. Uh, I, uh, sort of. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, uh, Who's hosting? Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey! One of your heroes, man. Uh, uh, Sam Famine. Sam Famine from the Rapping Pharaohs. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Is he hosting something new? Because I know he has that where are they. Uh, huh? The where are they now thing. Uh, uh, oh, oh no no no! He's still on it. Look, hey. Don, let me call you back. No, wait. I'm uh, here for your win. Of course, of course, man. Come on in. <laughs> How have you been? Great. Just great. <laughs> New record's coming out real soon. Oh, that's great. I, I can't wait to hear it. I'll send you a copy. Oh, no need. I'd buy one on me. It'd be my pleasure. Well, you look great. It's the apron. I, I got me a new one. It, it's much better for the tools. <clears throat> got me a new spanner as well. That's great. <laughs> That's one hell of a spanner, really. So, um, could you call me Wendell? Who is, uh... Of course. I'm sorry, Wendell. 
But none of this sir stuff, please. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So you're having a problem with the Wentworth then? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. <laughs> so, uh, what have you been doing then? Keeping busy? Oh, Lord, yes. I just got back from the Drain Car 99 convention. Really? How was it? <sighs> it's quite, quite exciting, sir. The new Millennium models are simply exquisite. And it's amazing all the things they're doing with spigots. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, we're entering a golden age of sink design. It's thrilling, really. But how about you? How's big books in the game? They're, uh, they're all the same, man. You know, uh, Jarvis is in the studio. Uh, I see Don from time to time. And uh, Beatbox is a solo record coming out. Who would have thunk it, huh? Cat's got skills, man, let me tell you. I can't I can seem to find a problem. Yeah. There may be a piece missing. Huh. Ah, oh, it's fine, man. Really. It's, it's just, uh. Hmm. Huh. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> I can't fix things anymore. I miss that hip hop. <laughs> For real? <laughs> That's in my blood, man. <laughs> Look, man. Look, man. I haven't been straight with you either. My new record's not coming out. It got pushed back. I don't know. I can't get a straight answer from anybody. They're waking you around. Those wankers. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I wish I could record some new stuff with you, but they're not even releasing my album, man. They won't pay for any more studio time. <laughs> Fucking suits! I like that! We'll go to England. What? I can look up some of me old mates. We can record over there. Huh? I've never even visited. Don't matter, you're big over there. I am? No way. Believe it, man, you're fucking enormous. England, huh? We, we can leave tonight. Two phone calls and we're off. We got a call. Well, first the airlines to book the tickets and all. Right, right. The second call's this bloke I know. He'll get us the guns. What guns? For the plane, man. How can you go on a plane without guns? Are you fucking nuts? We'll get busted, man. What? You're telling me you can't bring guns on a plane? <laughs> of course not. What the fuck, man? When was the last time you read the Constitution? Never. But still. Well, it's right there, man. In black and white. The Second Amendment grants you the right to bear arms. And if you can't bring them on a plane, then where the hell can you? What about all those people you hear about getting busted? That's just a felony. For assault rifles? Yeah, of course you can't bring those. But handguns are fine. It's encouraged, even. Cuts down on terrorism. Wow, who? You really know your shit. Oh, I read a lot. <laughs> Evidently. Don't worry about the legal stuff. Just worry about getting packed. I'll make the phone calls. I'm not, I'm still not sure about the guns, man. Come on, yo! I'm a little nervous about just leaving like this, man. You got beatbox to watch over things, right? Yeah, but... Oh, what are you worried about then? It's a big step, man. What if they hate us? You're not backing out me, are ya? Cause I need you, man. I mean, we're rappers. We rap. 
That's what we do. So let's go do it then. A bangers and mash, bangers and mash. I hope you register and give me your cash. Is that a reefer you're smoking? They can give me your stash. If we're running a race, I'll be off in a dash. Come on now. Come on. What are you waiting for, man? Let's do it. Come on, man. Let's get those guns and get on that plane. See you.